Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series. And in especially, this is the third episode on Bootstrap layouts. In the previous episode, we have learned about how to design Bootstrap layouts, different types of layouts that can be done. And also we started designing one of the layout. In today's episode, we will continue building on top of it. So if you haven't not checked out the previous episodes, please do that. It's very important that you follow the flow. Now, like I request you every time, I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these information, data and tutorials for you. So please do subscribe and like my videos. If you have any doubts, please do ask me and I'm, I will be happy to provide you free help. All right, so in the, in the previous episode, we saw we started using Bootstrap Grid and by putting in some container classes like row, column. So we'll extend that and we will we have learned that we have designed this layout in the previous episode. So we'll extend this and add a footer to this now. So let's get started. I'm going back to the tutorial where I left it. So to just to show you the output, we are here so far. Now you can see that we have a header, we have a content area, but we don't have a footer yet. So let's generate that footer component now. I'm going back to the terminal and previously we had generated two components, header and content. Now I'm going to generate a new component, call it footer. Right? So in this we will in this now we have generated the component uh, which is called header so let's go there and see that so this is the header so what we are going to do here is just throw in some links nothing fancy since it's a footer we don't want anything uh, extra special or uh, anything of those those sorts instead uh, we will keep it very very simple by just adding a uh, few links right so let's see that so open the footer.html, which is this code. And now I'm going to just place it at the end, right? So we need some, let's say copyright information or um, any, any, any sorts of that thing. Um, anything like copyright links or SEO, especially. So let's get, see that how to do that. All right. So for that, um, what I'm going to do here is delete this for now and just have a footer this is a pure uh, HTML um, tag and then I'm just going to use footer class and then I'm going to throw in few links so again inside this I'm going to call a container right so once this is done now we are, can add some uh, content or something like a link say So now we need to include this footer in our app main component. So after content, we are going to use app, right? So now I have my header, I have my content, I have my footer. Let's see that in action, right? So you see at the end, we have the link and do we want it to center aligned? Yes, so let's put that. So we are just going to say, Class text center. So now you see the link is at the text. If we want to add some padding, let's add P2 utility class and add some padding. So we have added padding at the bottom. If you want a slightly uh, background, uh, we can say BG light. That's another utility class we have. So, or we can say BG dark. So it now gives a dark footer to that. And we are going to call here also padding two, and we'll give a margin two as well. So now we see we have got a neat, uh, beautiful looking uh, footer also. So this is how simply you can create a simple template site framework that you want to use for your application. You can have a header, you can have a main content, and you can have the footer links right now in the next episode we are going to build on it 
and we are going to work on two column layout so stay tuned for that do keep checking out each of these episodes ask me doubts where you have i'll be happy to help you for free thank you so much see you in the next episode where we will build two column layout using angular and bootstrap thank you so much